what if we build Skynet? Or what if these things put everyone out of work? It's something I do think about a lot. Effectively, these models are the predictive text on my phone scaled up. I don't think you can scale predictive phone on my text up to the point where it will place a a human worker. And I don't want that, right? I want LLMs like what we have right now, just a little bit better, that help people do cool stuff. I want tools that augment human beings. I think the idea of replacing human beings entirely with these things is just distasteful, you know? So yeah. I really and feel at the like same time, it's more the Star Trek computer versus the Star Trek a- Android data. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And it's also like, um, you can't trust a word that the AI labs say themselves because if they're trying to raise $100 billion, they've got to say AGI. Yes. Challenging because then where do you get credible takes on AGI if all of the people who are closest to it? And I do think that those labs, are there. I think that a lot of them are true believers. They really do yeah. believe that they're going to solve all of humanity's problems by building this artificial superintelligence. None of them seem to have uh, to have an answer to the question. Okay, well, how does the economy work when you've put everyone out of like the, the, the USA can't right. do universal health care? How's it going to do universal basic income? Right? Um, <laughs> yeah. There's no plans for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I, I deliberately don't really engage with that side of things because. Yeah. I feel like the niche that I've carved out for myself, the what can we do right now, what works, what doesn't work, that's enough value already.